The big warm welcome back here once again. My name is Joseph James. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's 11.45 Eastern Time here on Wednesday, the middle of the week here, hump day in this short week. We are, of course, dealing with a little bit of lackluster volume here. We had gold rollover today. We had uh, not much news. The headlining news today was pending home sales, if that says anything about how, how much lack of news there was today. Um, and again, a, a little bit of what's happening right now has to be assumed to be a little bit of the, uh, you know, they're still trying to scrub off all the suntan lotion from the, right, from the long weekend. So we got traders coming back to their desk today. We've got traders on rollover today. We've got traders who are wondering about all of the news that wasn't supposed to, that was supposed to be today that's been pushed back to tomorrow. So what's going to happen is, is today we have news that shouldn't be here, but it's there because of the long weekend. So, for example, today on the news, we did not have crude inventories. That's tomorrow. So we were wondering if, if that would affect things today, and it definitely did. It, it definitely did have an impact on volume today. Um, traders are creatures of habit, and we know that when a trader is used to having inventories on Wednesdays and there is no inventories on Wednesdays, oftentimes they begin to you know, get a little bit scared or let fear keep them away from the markets today. So we were wondering if that was going to be the case today. And I think it was. I think it was. Now, before we talk about the trades we took today, guys, again, incredible day. We came in this morning. We planned our trades at 7.30. We spent about two hours doing that. Then we traded our plan from 9.30 until 11.30. Here we are now, 11.30, two hours of planning, two hours of trading. We planned our trade. We traded our plan. Now, before we talk about all those trades we took today, though, guys, I do want to remind everybody out there, please read our disclaimer. Please be careful with your risk capital. It is so easy to get wrapped up in the emotions of all this if you're not trading according to a specific, a methodical, and a proven over the long term trading plan. You're really putting yourself in disaster's way, in harm's way. Okay, we all know what that ship without a rudder feels like, right? It gets tossed around throughout the ocean. Okay, I want to put a ship on the ocean with a rudder. That way I have some direction. I have control over my destiny. Every day we come in at 7.30, we grab our trading plan, we grab our worksheets, our checklists, our cheat sheets, and we go through a formal routine. Our formal morning routine is published in our advanced course. It's available to our members. We go over it and exercise it every morning at 7.30. And if you miss that routine each day, guys, you're missing such important information. So come in and join me at 7.30. If you're not trained on this method yet, if you haven't been to training, if you haven't had the chance to download all of our indicators, our data, our charts, our strategies, our auto trader, all that comes with membership. You come in every day at 7.30. You have all the tools you need. You have the mental training you need, the emotional training you need. We teach you guys how to watch the news. We teach you how to look for patterns, how to look for the price structures. We plan our trades, and then we start trading our plan. Every morning, we have one job, put together our plan. And that's exactly what we did this morning. Now, what were the clues we got this morning? What were some of the clues this morning? We had a bunch of clues, didn't we? And it all began with the news. The news ultimately was the biggest clue we got today. And it wasn't just the news today. It was the news for tomorrow. Now, remember, we look at three things when it comes to reading news. And we talked about this at 7.30 this morning together in real time. What happened overnight, what's happening today, and what's happening tomorrow. So what happened overnight? Bearish news. We looked at that about 7.30 this morning. We opened up our Forex factory. We opened up tradethenews.com, and we, and we worked on what happened overnight. And it was a little bit mixed, but the major news numbers that came out overnight were bearish. So we knew right away overnight was bearish. Then, second thing, what's happening today? Well, we checked our crude open trade between 8 and 9 o'clock. There was no open trade triggered. What was the bias, though? We said the bias was short, and I think we were right about that. So at 8.20 this morning, 8 o'clock this morning, we remind ourselves to look at the crude open trade. And the crude open trade is a specific trading strategy that we use between 8 and 9 o'clock on crude oil futures. It's a very effective strategy. It's very specific. Today we looked at this, and it gave us a bias to the short side. And as you can see here, looking at a crude chart right now, I think we were on the right track with that. Yeah, I would say the bias was definitely the short side today on crude as it drops from, from 90 down to 85. So 
First thing on the news was, overnight news was bearish. Second thing, what's happening today? Short bias on crude. We make it through the 8 o'clock, 8.20 golden currencies, 9, pit opens up, 9.30 U.S. open, and 10 o'clock pending home sales. This now tells us the meat and potatoes is going to come between 9.30 and 10.30. And we joked, we joked this morning by saying, now you don't hear that very often, right? The meat and potatoes is the what? The pending home sales? Right, exactly. We don't trust home sales numbers. We don't even care about home sales numbers. I really would rather just skip it, not even remember it. But I'll put it there to make sure I don't forget about it. But again, because of manipulation, because of incentives and tax advantages and all these different programs that are out there, not to mention the, the bank-owned properties in the market right now, very difficult to trust a good or a bad number at 10 o'clock today. So we really avoided it. But we knew that